don't know that you know it's already done is there somebody who knows it's already done it's already done it's already done raise your voice give the lord a shout give the lord a shout you are shouting because i asked you to shout it's already done lift up your heads all your gates be your left you everlasting doors it's already done it's already done it's already done it's a new day it's a new season lift up your voice give the lord a loud shout help me look at the neighbor by your side and please help me preach to your neighbor and tell your neighbor god already settled it ah that's the wrong neighbor leave that neighbor get in the face of another and tell them god already settled it say neighbor it's already settled it's already settled it's already settled if you believe it thunder it loud amen lift up your right hand say today uh, any power that will arise uh, against uh, what the lord uh, has set on uh, fire 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 open your mouth rakataba ishabene atabale rakatula ashad atabale epakorot alabeta ashad Rakatola, Rakatola, it's Shadola, Apacorata, Eshabena, it's already settled, Lakata, Powers, Forces, Rakata, Ibiana, Fire, 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 Akata, Eshada, Ebiana, Atata, Lakata, Eshabana, Alabiana, Atolad, Rakata, Eshad, Abalada, Ekoto, Ira. Let it be broken. 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 As your two hands are lifted, hear me clearly. I know you know it's already settled, but I came with a mandate today. I came with a mandate today. Whatever the Lord has settled in the next 11 days, carry the evidence. Let there be a manifestation. The Lord said, Call forth the manifestation. I call it forth. Appear, 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 appear. Let your image turn louder. Let your image turn. God is about to do what only Him can do. Help me grab the hand of one neighbor. The Lord is about to do what only He God can do. The Lord said to me, as a church, we are going to scream Jesus three times for two minutes. We will speak in the Holy Ghost. We will speak in the Holy Ghost. Akonasha, I will shout. Akada, one, two, three, and we shout Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I'm going to give everybody two minutes. Speak in the Holy Ghost. The Lord is about to work for you in a way you never imagined. The Lord is about to raise what you cannot raise. The Lord is about to remove what you cannot remove the lord is about to work for you in places in corners in dimensions you never imagined it will not be about your wisdom it will not be about your imagination it will be about god it will be about god it will be about god if you are ready i will count to three we will scream jesus three times and you will blast in other tongues if you are ready one two three Jesus, 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 open your mouth, blast in other tongues, hold the hand of the neighbor, blast in tongues, Rakata, Rakata, Shapata, Atabia, Rakatole, Rakaband, Isokata, Apal, Rakatabia, Asakada, Lapatia, Rakata, Ayaba, 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 Akota. Alabia, Ekapata, Lakabiroto, Rakelaba, Isopada, Atoba, Akapato, Raketobia, Intolada, Intolada, Akore, Esaya, Esaba, Ata, Rapato, Rakotone, 
shot yes sir yes sir yes sir speak in the holy ghost go ahead go ahead i hear the interpretation of some of your tongues i hear it i hear your back i got a latia i got a racket on it rasha a parada a summa a cop on there it's over there rocky badassa a pair a rocket on record on he buy it a tada a tada a super a pair a sigh a patrol a rocky band it's a man a cop on there a rosada a sword and there a pegato I love you. I come out of record. I shout out. I come out of rapid. Record. I shout out. I run. I cut out. I shout. I be out. I cut out. Rapid. I shout. I cut out. I love you. I cut out. Rapid. Let your aim at on the loud. Let your aim at on. As your two hands are lifted, I got on ya. I got a bear. I am now, sir. At the sound of your amen, set to me, sir. Over stubborn challenges, get up, sir. Challenges that have lasted, rock it on. At the sound of your amen, I am now, sir. It is set to me. Hey. I don't know why the Lord is asking me to declare this this way. Lift up your two hands. You are about to receive something heavy. Calabria, the Lord said to me, to your 20th generation, to your 20th generation, listen, if curses can last that long, then there is a man here that can assess a blessing that will last. Blessings are spoken. Rendibiaka, to your 20th generation, like Keep an eye, wrap on us. Let it enter their DNA. Let it keep on die. Record over us. Lock up. Zani Bikor, Zokoto, Elamene, Ishakada, all the sound of your amen, Akolada, Ayanaus, said to me to your 20th generation. I say, say to me to your 20th generation, receive it. Your children will not be stranded. Your generation will not see shame. They will not see despair. 20th generation, we release it to them. We hand it over. We hand it over. We hand it over. Right now. Right now. We align them. 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 Right now. 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 Let your image thunder. Set two men that will wipe out years of shame. Let go the sound. Oh, the sound of your image. Are oh, you now? Receive it right now. Set two men that will give you a new name. Set two men that will give you a new name. Set two men that will give you a new name. Are you now? Receive it right now. 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 Let your image turn now. Yet there be another. Set two men that will put you on your mount of visibility. Set two men that will put you on your mount of visibility. Are the sound of your image. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Set two men that will make the kings make you their king. Set two men that will make kings that make you their king. Are the sound of your image. Receive it right now. That kind of settlement that will end spiritual laziness. Akupa dasha. That kind of settlement that will end addictions. Rekotoya. That kind of settlement that will end every lack of hunger for God. And the sound of your amen. Receive it right now. The kind of settlement that will bring help us. Help us you do not know. Help us you didn't pray for. If your amen will turn down, I am out. Receive it right now. I decree the Lord has settled you. 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 Everyone lift up your two hands. I don't know who you are. Two more in your throat. I don't know who you are. Every two more in your throat. I command let it disappear right now. I said let it disappear right now. Shadabalabalabala. 
There's a man you see in your dream all the time. This is not the first time, it's not the second time, it's not the third time. And the man keeps introducing himself as your father. But he does not look like your father. But he comes every time in your dream and calls you my daughter. Comes to say he's your father. The devil is a liar. Shandi Balaba, at one time in the dream, this man has tried to hurt you. Mystery surrounding your life. Keep Arada Shakata that has kept this strong man standing over the destinies of your family. At the sound of your amen, let it be broken. I said, let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let your amen chant louder. For the Lord is reversing every enlarged heart. The Lord is reversing every enlarged heart. The Lord is reversing every enlarged heart. For pause flows. Pause flows like your menstrual period. Pause flows like your menstrual period. By the power that raised Jesus from the dead, I announce let it be reversed right now. Let it be reversed right now. Let it be reversed right now. Before you came to church, it looks like all that investment you have made all of them have wasted but there is a God that is turning it around you will not lose your investment you will not lose your investment you will not lose your investment let your amen turn the louder let your amen turn the louder you made a mistake that should have worked against you but at the sound of your amen that same mistake will work for you let your amen turn the louder let your amen turn the louder let your amen rise let your amen rise Kabbalah, he's been back to back of meeting with the dead people. You are seeing the dead, having meeting with them, eating with them, dining with them in your dream. From one dead person to another, from one dead person to another. At the sound of your amen, I command, let that you be broken right now. I said, let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let your amen turn now. Jehovah is uprooting every acid reflux. I command every acid reflux to disappear by fire. Disappear by fire. Disappear by fire. Let your amen turn now. Let your amen turn now. There's a woman hearing me. The Lord specifically says 17 years of barrenness. At the sound of your amen, let it be terminated. Any wicked stranger, the way I hear it is the way I declare it, that I have the ears of your family member. The Lord calls them a wicked stranger. But that's where the ears of your family member is at. Any wicked stranger that has the ear of your family member, if your amen will turn down, we command, let there be a separation let there be a separation separation by fire 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 somebody thunder say it's already settled i wish your amen will scatter the gates of hell the louder your amen the quicker your answer let your amen thunder louder. Somebody shall say, today is my day. Thunder is already settled. Can I ask you one small question? Can I ask you that question? How will you shout? How will you celebrate? How will you scream? Shapataya, Ekurasaya, Shabadaya, Lakata, Zadaba, Rakata. Let your amen turn the louder. Somebody help me turn that say it's already settled. Open your Bibles to the book of Mark, chapter 5. We read the book of Mark, chapter 5, verse 22. Mark chapter 5, verse 22. It is already settled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know, but since the beginning of the service, the Spirit of God has put this word in my heart. It's a popular word, you know, but the Lord says I should repeat it to you. Shabbat Shabbat. It will not end the way the devil planned it. Can I say it again? It will not end the way the devil planned it. Because I, I just heard your voice. I'm hearing your voice in my ear. And you're saying to God, am I going to go through this again? Am I going to go? The Lord said, no, no, you won't, you won't go through it again. 
you won't go through it again. You won't go through it again. You won't go through it again. Let your amen thunder louder. I don't know who this is for. What you have is enough. The Lord will prove it to you by Tuesday morning. You will not need to do more. You will not need to get more. You think others have an edge over you, but the Lord said, what you have is enough. 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 Have is enough. May your little be the one that people will talk about. Let your amen rise higher. I don't know why I'm led to declare this, but powers that make men comfortable when there is still a harvest ahead, at, at, as the sound of your amen and command, let it be broken off your life. We read the book of Mark chapter 5. We'll read from verse 22. And we'll read all the way down to verse 42. Oh, better still, let's read all the way down to verse 43. Hallelujah. And church like a mass choir at the count of three, we'll read together one, two, three. And behold, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet. And besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lieth at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay thine hands on her, that she may be healed, and she shall live. And Jesus went with him, and much people followed him, and thronged him. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood twelve years. And has suffered many things of many physicians. And has spent all that she had. And was nothing better, but rather grew worse. And when she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind. And touched his garment. For she said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him turned him about in the press and said who touched my clothes and his disciples said unto him thou seest the multitude thronging thee and sayest thou who touched me and he looked round about to see her that had done this thing but the woman fearing and trembling knowing what was done in her came and fell down before him and told him all the truth and he said unto her daughter thy faith had made thee whole go in peace and be whole of thy plague and while he yet spake, there came from the ruler of the synagogue's house, certain which said, Thy daughter is dead. Why troublest thou the master any further? And as soon as she heard that word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. And he suffered no man to follow him, save Peter and James and John, the brother of James. And he came into the house of the ruler of the synagogue, and see at the tomb and them that wept and wailed greatly and when he was coming he saith unto them why make ye this ado and weep the damsel is not dead but sleepeth and they laughed him to scorn but when he had put them all out he taketh the father and the mother of the damsel and them that were with him and entering it where the damsel was lying and he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her talita kumi which has been interpreted damsel I say unto thee arise and straightway the damsel arose and walked for she was of the age of 12 years and they were astonished with a great astonishment and he charged them strictly that no man should know it and commanded that something should be given to her to eat our father we ask in the next few minutes Lord that you make your word and your will known unto us let there be none of any man but all of you let a lover of the Lord thunder a louder amen even your amen does not sound like you know it's a new season. Please help me do a declaration of amen to three people around you. Just shout amen, amen, amen. Yes, sir. And if you believe it, can you thunder a louder amen? Let your amen rise higher. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. If you will not let me just beat around the bush and just go straight into the heart of the matter. Let me quickly remind everyone under the sound of my voice. And this is the way I want to start. I know I said it before, but I need to repeat this for you to hear, people of God. Let nobody ever tell you right that in your pursuit after God, that their methodology is better than yours. 
I have seen some people criticize this centurion. I'm sorry, this ruler of the synagogue. I've seen some people say, you know he didn't have faith. The woman of the issue of blood, while he was busy messing up, while he was busy, the woman overtake and got her own miracle. And yet, he did not get his own because he was saying, Jesus, come to my house. Sir, that man was correct. Did you hear what I just said? People of God, because fundamentally, his problem was coming from his house. Sir, people of God, how could you have sought the Lord to come? Somebody from your house says, don't trouble the Lord. Your daughter is already dead. How do you arrive at this house? And Jesus said, the damsel is sleeping. But yet, people in the house started laughing. They were crying, you know? They were wailing, you know? They were weeping, you know? What manner of inconsistency is that? As in, if the Lord says, I mean, this, this girl is not dead. As you shall have small faith now. Eh? Okay, so what is this about? I know, so the problem is primarily from the house. There was a connection the man was involved in. There were a group of people around and the Lord needed to sanitize those people. So when Jairus was saying, come to my house. People of God, Jairus wanted to consolidate a healing. Jairus did not want, just do for me, I go back to my house. People of God, you may not understand. Probably the people in the house were the people that caused the problem in the first place. I don't know whether you're getting it. Because as Jesus got in there, Jesus told them, get out of the house. Get out of the house. Listen, people of God, the desire of God is that settlement will reach the house. It will not just happen on the way but let me begin on this note by saying anything coming from your house that's trying to stop what God is bringing these people wanted to stop Jesus they said don't reach the house there is no need whatever that wants to stop your settlement at the sound of your image iron house let them be broken right now let them be broken let them be broken let them be broken let them be broken somebody shall fire now lift up your own right hand say my father my father whatsoever that is in my house whatsoever that is in my house i hope you know i'm not just talking about physical building i'm talking even about you you this house this house that came to church today lift up your right hand say whatsoever that is in my house that is not of god what are you doing what are you doing in my house say right now fire i shake it off fire i shake it off fire. Fire, I shake it off. Fire, I shake it off. I shake it off. I shake it off. Let me hear you turn the fire. Take your seat for one second. Take your seat. So, sir, it pleased the Lord to begin this journey. I don't know who I am praying for, but any family member that has an appointment of death for 25th of October. When it will happen, you will remember this. At the sound of your amen, I decree it will not happen. We can sue that appointment of debt. 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 Let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. Sabadi Boshandia. But sir, do you understand that this man was a ruler of the synagogue? People of God, a ruler of synagogue. There is an understanding that Jairus has about how things are settled. That I want us to glean from Jairus, ruler of the synagogue. Then he comes to Jesus. As soon as he gets to where Jesus was, the Bible said he fell at his feet. I might be a ruler. But I know where things are solved. Kapara Shadaba. Sir, rule in your world, but fall at his feet. Secondo Shabara. The reason why you see some men will never get embarrassed. No matter the battles against them. Because they know where it matters. Shakata. They stand tall in their career. But when they get to his feet, 
they fall flat. Shabbatabalaya. Was that not what we heard that Joshua did? Rekoto Balashaya. And Joshua said, When I come in contact with the captain of the lawsuit, I fall flat. Shakudabasa. You remember the woman with the alabaster box? Shakudabalasia. When she got there, she broke the alabaster at his feet. The I need to remind you that when Mary, Martha came and held a conversation with Jesus, and it didn't make sense, but as soon as Mary came, the first thing she did was she fell at his feet. Keep on dying. This is how victories are won. And the songwriter said, Down at your feet, O Lord, is the most high place in your presence, Lord. He called a shadow. Sissy Winers added, I said, Don't be angry. If I wash his feet with my tears and wipe them with my hair, you weren't there. You had no idea how my life was going when he found me. I call a shine. The only way to rule out there is learning. There are days all I will do is just to cry at his feet. There are days all I will do is just to lie at his feet. But if I can know this principle, I will remain a ruler if I know how to prostrate right at his feet if you understood what I said can you turn that louder amen when you begin to rule never forget that rulers were first of all fallers did you hear what I just said right now people of God you know people think you are all that but even you you know you are not all that even you you know that in Nabasada I am not really the way they are seeing me sir if you've ever seen your weaknesses before Shabadaba make his feet your hiding place Shabadaba if you've ever known that you've seen men come and go and you don't want to fizzle out sir make his feet your dwelling place Shabadabalabasa there can never be any more secure place we've seen kingdoms come and kingdoms fail we've seen those who call ourselves friends but when it mattered most they were nowhere to be found but then again Shabianabasaya when I am at his feet Rekoboloshiyada Elnebiakajada Rekodoshiya Zabadiyada Lebiyada are you aware that when someone came from his house and informed Jairus and said don't trouble the master the person you are bringing him to uh, come and uh, pray for is already dead Jairus did not answer Jesus answered sir when you become Isakuta familiar with his feet there are things you don't answer the Lord is the one that answers for you someone under the sound of my voice in 24 hours keep at the sound of your amen let the Lord give them a loud answer they have asked you where is your God when will it happen when will you get married all this shouting and prayer where is the evidence keep on the shire. my prayer for you say oh Lord answer them keep on the shire. oh Lord answer them the God that sees me answer them Eroy answer them Abba answer them answer them answer them he copied at the sound of your amen I announce let the emperor of the whole universe he catalasha who does not lie whose words are yea and amen who has not called the sons of Jacob to seek him in vain he catad at the sound of your amen let him answer them Someone with a loud amen. Hear me as I hear the Lord. In less than 24 hours, the Lord will answer them on your behalf. I thought your amen was going to be louder than that. The Lord will answer them on your behalf. 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 Let your amen turn the louder. Shani Balada, please take your seat for one second. Let me say this. If you are a man of destiny, I want you to be very comfortable in letting people find purpose through you. 
This is an aside, but I need to say it. You know, you're not yet living a life of distinction. A life that posterity will remember if all you want is your purpose to be advanced. So, Jairus meets Jesus. He was the one that met Jesus. But he never complained when the woman with the issue of blood interrupted Jesus while Jesus was on the way to the house. Never. I know I'm the one that brought Jesus this way. But if someone will find meaning, if someone will find meaning to their life, Lord, I am satisfied. Did you hear what I just said? It doesn't matter who gets the answer first. What matters is that the Lord gets the glory. When you come to this point, you know you have grown. Yes, sir. When you come to this point, you know that you have grown. Why do I put in all the work behind the scene and only, only, only her, only him takes the glory? It really doesn't matter. People of God, it really doesn't matter. What matters is that heaven is taking note of. So, sir, the next time you want to criticize Jairus, remember, if he never directed Jesus the way to his house, the woman with the issue of blood would never have found Jesus to lay her. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. So, I, I, can we stop mocking Jairus for one second? He doesn't have faith. He doesn't do, He didn't do this one right. He didn't. But, sir, he's the woman that made Jesus go in that direction. People of God, there's a call from heaven. How many more persons can bring Jesus the way of others? I know you've got a need. I know there's something there. But Lord, I'm satisfied. If coming through this way will make this woman fine. No, and Jesus, when they came to us, say, Jesus said, you don't know what it is. You don't know what it is. This is, a, this is a man that in pursuing after me, other people have found me. In seeking me, other people, people of God, that's distinction in life. Oh. That's distinction in destiny. Sir, how many people can assess the Lord through me? How many people And I, 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 I'm not talking about religion. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about the soda. I'm talking about those who really found the Lord. Like this woman with the issue of blood. Yes, he did not take the decision for this woman. But he created the pathway. He created the pathway. The woman saw who she probably might have been looking for for a very long time. If you understand this, can you thunder it louder? Amen. If you understand it, can you thunder it louder? Amen. Can you There's a spirit of restoration here. Yes. Yes. So you know what, what was happening? So while I was talking, I just saw an angel walk, walk walk to the overflow walk and just walking around walking around walking around so while i was talking my spirit had to, i began to question what's this what's this what's going on and the spirit of god said that's an angel of restoration there's a spirit spirit of restoration spirit of restoration right now whatever that is missing in your life whatever the enemy took from your life whatever that you have asked where is it keep a leisure whatever you desire and there is emptiness there at the sound of your amen Receive it right now. 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 Let your amen turn the louder. I announce it is done. I wish your amen will turn the louder than that. I wish your amen will rise higher than that. I wish your amen will turn than that. And people of God. And you know, Jesus moves. And yes, the woman with the issue of blood had her encounter with Jesus. But that's not the end. Jesus still continued going to, Sir, anytime you read the Bible, read it the way it was written. Never, people of God. You know, if that man was in the wrong, Jesus would have told him, Look at you. The man with the issue, with the issue of blood got her own. But you yourself, you want to take me to the house. People of God, if Jesus followed him to the house, leave him like that. Leave him like that. There are some people Jesus needs to follow to the house. There are some people that need to get their own on the way. But however you got your own, all of us are right. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. All of us are right. And people of God, this is exactly how Jesus followed the man straight to the house. However, 
as Jesus was entering the house, Jesus went with James. People of God, Jesus went with Peter and Jesus went with John. Remember, watch this. Remember I said, when he came, he found those that were crying. People of God, let me say this before I continue. It's an aside. How you settle some issues permanently. Make sure you are not just addressing issues. You are also addressing the atmosphere that reinforced them. So what some people end up doing is that they address issues. But they don't address atmosphere. Sir, do you know that one thing the devil does is that he doesn't just create an issue for you. He creates an atmosphere that will reinforce it. See what I mean? So you go through a, a situation. The devil gives you an atmosphere of fear. So even when the Lord solves that issue in your life, you find out that there is this deep-seated fear inside of you right now. And so people of God, so you meet another issue now. That fear of yesteryears still registers in your mind. So people of God, Jesus was going to raise, whether they stayed there or they did not stay there, Jesus was still going to raise that Jairus' daughter. But what was important for the Lord is that we must change atmosphere. I don't just solve issues. I also change atmosphere. Sir, so people of God, let me remind you. People are carriers of atmosphere. Anybody, everybody you meet has an atmosphere. Sir, so when you look at them long enough and feel like their atmosphere, there are people when they talk to you, they speak fear. Forget about how, how many years they've been in Christ. Forget about them. Some people just talk fear. Afraid of everything. Scared of everything. When they talk like this, fear, fear, fear. Sir, look at them. Tell them you don't fit in into what God is saying to me. There are people, their own is they, too, they are too logical to have faith. They are too logical to have faith. Everything, eh? but if it is like this, then it has to be like, where is the place of God in this whole thing that you are telling me? Where is the place of, what are you saying? Where is the place of God? People of God, they have no space. People, are you seeing the crazy things people are doing on NSPP? They, 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 they finish this fire and say, me, I didn't send you people. No. In me, I didn't say, you, you people should not be saying this kind of thing. But people of God, this is how crazy it has got. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Help me look at your neighbor. You're going to preach to your neighbor. Say, neighbor, deal with the issue. Deal with the issue. Also, also, change the atmosphere. If you understand it, thunder it louder, amen. And so what was important to the Lord was to change the atmosphere. Sir, listen, in the realm of the spirit, there is no vacuum. Sir, if you remove something, make sure you replace it with another thing. So listen to what Jesus did. So Jesus sends out these guys. Then Jesus brings in Peter, James, John. Do you understand? Sir, as you are chasing some things out, be replacing them. That's the way we function in the kingdom. What some of you did was that you chased some things out, but they did not have replacement. This is why the Bible says, if you chase out a spirit, it will start wandering. When he finishes, he says, let me go back and to see whether that place is still vacant. So people of God, there are people that genuinely chased out some things from their life. But unfortunately for them, they created vacancy for those things. So, sir, when you are dealing with things, be replacing it. Be replacing it. Le Korosha, you chase away fear. Carry the word of God. Stuff it inside of your spirit. Keep Arasha. Whatever you chase out, you replace. Whatever you chase out, you replace. Whatever you chase out, you replace. Whatever you, if you remove your, your people from you, find so, find people that, that have sense. Find people that speak faith inside of you. People of God, you must be very aware of it. Somebody help me shout fire. I want to hear my overflow friends. Those in the overflow, can I hear you scream a loud fire? You will soon join them to the overflow. I just want to hear only those in the overflow. Can I hear you scream loud fire? All those in the overflow, hear me as I hear the Lord. In 48 hours, let the God of all round settlement beyond your imagination at the sound of your amen let him bring your settlement earlier than you imagine. Can I hear everyone in the overflow release your three loud amen. What 
our God cannot do. So it is important for me, as you are chasing this one out, make sure that you are ready. They are still shouting. Okay, let's cuckoo join them and still shout. Yes, oh! Yes, oh! Yes, oh! Yes, oh! Yes, oh! What our God cannot do, oh! What our God cannot turn around. If you believe it, turn it louder. Amen! Somebody help me declare after me. Say, whatsoever that is not meant to be in my life. With a loud voice, can you turn the say, get out? Somebody turn the say, whatsoever that needs to be in my life. Say, what are you waiting for? Shout to the love of say, appear. Shout, say, appear. Shout, say, appear. Shout, say, appear. Let your amen turn the louder. If you want to walk in the realm of all our settlement, make sure there's no vacuum anywhere. There's no vacuum. Don't leave a vacuum anywhere. Don't leave any vacuum. Your problem is that, you know, some of you, there's nothing wrong with your children. There's nothing wrong with your children. But if I might put it this, this way, there's also nothing right with them. Did you just hear what I said? There's nothing wrong with them. But unfortunately, there is nothing right with them. So, sir, they are just vacant. So much vacuum in their life. And you are not feeling anything. You are not feeling anything. Where they are, some of them are not knowledgeable enough. Or they are too lazy to feel. Feel it! Don't you know that we used to summon spirits in this kingdom? You have a child. You have never summoned their spirits before. So what have you been doing? Ima and I summoned spirits. No, 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 no. So you were not informed. You don't know about it. Okay, let me leave your children. You don't know we summon spirits of people. Oh, they made you believe it's only the witches and wizards that can summon. Let me tell you something. Anybody that gives you trouble. Eh? I'm telling you what is proven and tested. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Wake up in the middle of the night. That time their spirit is moving from one dream to another dream. Command their spirit to show up. When you summon their spirit, read for them ordinances of the kingdom. And tell them if you don't obey, this is what is going to happen. You don't know how to summon spirits. It's not what I came to do. But sir, keep alashida. Until you address some people's spirits, their bodies will not align. Let me, let me leave that one there. Because sometimes you are busy talking to people's body and other parents. Every day you are addressing the bodies of your children. You know this thing you are doing is not good. You know this thing is not good. They don't hear. They are not hearing. So sir, it's a spirit thing. You summon their spirit where it matters. Keparashaya. He said to Jeremiah, before I formed thee, I knew thee. Go back to how that child was formed. Where divinity knows people without human body. And begin to reel out because if he knew thee before he formed thee, I would take back the battle. That's where let's go back to where it all started from. But you are dressing from now to there instead of you going from there to here. It's from there we begin, we begin from there to here. But you yourself, you are beginning from here to there. Let me pack that in one corner. And Jesus looks at this girl. And as soon as she came to where the girl was, she took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, Talita Kumi, which is being interpreted, damsel, I say unto thee, arise. You know, I just had goosebumps when I, I was reading the scripture. And what gave me goosebumps was not that she rose. It was just one word damsel in other words young girl in other words you still have destiny ahead of you in other words 
there's still so much you can be. Jesus could have said anything. But why was he specific about calling her damsel? Permit me to put this in quotes. Damsels don't die. Now, understand that I'm not just talking about young girls. But I am speaking to people who still have destinies ahead of them. God would have sponsored a failed project if with all the plans he has for you, your journey ends halfway. God would have even failed himself if with everything he said about you, then you just come, pass, without making a mark in this life. What he said to Jairus' daughter, he's still saying to someone here, and all I hear is damsel, I say unto thee, Ara, Kepedosha, Rendi Barasa. They didn't kill your body, but some of them killed your dreams. They didn't kill your body, some of them killed your prayer life. Kepara, they didn't kill your kill, they killed, they killed all favor around you, they killed your access, they killed Kupandishai, Hiratubada, Esebiara. When he called her damsel, he was speaking to her dreams. Shadabiara. When he called her damsel, he was speaking to the future ahead of her. When he called her damsel, Kipadasha, he was speaking to everything this girl can become. Damsels don't die. Kiparasataya, Shepedosa. And he said to her, damsel, listen, you must rise up. Kanabalashadaya. You can't die now. There's still destiny ahead. Have you even gone half of what God said you should do? There's still destiny come. I know you're a man and you're saying to me, Pastor, no be damsel be called. Sir, this damsel is generic. Did you hear what I just said? And people of God, God is addressing you. And all he's saying, with all the dreams, no, you can't die now. You can't die. These dreams can't die now. These visions can't die now. And some of you, you're not, you're not, you're not dead in your body, but your mind is dead. You don't want to try harder anymore. I'm gonna take my time. I'm not gonna push again the way I used to push. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's not my thing. Maybe I just have maybe because I've already come. Let me start continue already. But sir, he says, damn cell. I say unto thee, rise. Daily, you know what I want to hear him tell me? Jerry, I say unto thee, arise. Because, sir, I love this scripture, arise and shine. I speak it over my life every day. For the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon. Because you know what? Where I was yesterday, it's not where I am arising from today. So he's saying to you, Shabadabalaba, man in business, I say unto thee, arise. Balasaya, he that the generation is waiting for, I say unto you, arake bande kosoto, rebiadasa, and za, which has been interpreted, damsel, I say unto thee, arise. Let me do an aside. And leave an instruction if you're a damsel if you know you still have got dreams don't die did you hear what I just said if your heart is still burning don't die there are some people waiting to bury you let me shock you I said this before but let me repeat it again and remind you you know Samson had relations. They never came until what is burial time. That was when they showed up. Nobody, help did not show up when they put him in the prison, when they brought out his eyes, when all of those things, all of that was going on. Did he, nobody came. But when it was burial, they came. Do you, are you aware that John the Baptist was locked up in the prison for a while? John the Baptist, in the prison. The guy I spoke about in one of the services for a long time. They didn't show up. The day they showed up was to carry his body and bury. There are people that want to bury you. But I beg of you, 
This is what I want you to do. Make sure, by all means, you don't die. Somebody who helped me scream with a loud voice say, I will not die. And this is how I end the next verse, if you don't mind. And straightway, the damsel arose. Listen to this. He didn't, she didn't just arise. She walked. Let not your biggest testimony be that you rose. We want to hear that after you rose, you walked. It is a disappointment to the kingdom to rise and remain where you rose from. If you say you have risen, walk. Walk away from that place that looks like your coffin. When men rise, they walk. For she was of the age of two eyes. Ah, the Bible is telling you why she walked. She rose and walked because she was 12 years. She, she cannot rise and stay. She cannot rise and stay. She's too young to rise and remain there. There's too much for prophecy to rise and stay. The Bible says, and they were astonished with a great astonishment. Show me the next verse. And he charged them strictly that no man should know it. And he commanded that something should be given her to eat. You know, she was already walking. But Jesus said, when you know you have begun to walk, always find something to eat. When you know you are a man on a destiny journey, don't celebrate your walk because you will soon faint without food. When you are moving, always be feeding. Rise on your feet wherever you are. Would you lift up your two hands wherever you are? Those seven things you wrote down, Bring them again. Lift it up before the Lord. That's what he said. God has settled it. I pray for number one. The Lord shall hastily answer you. I wish your amen would be louder than that. Now write it beside it. God has settled it. Yes, write it. Write it beside it. God has settled it. Number two. God is making a name for himself. Chai. Let me say it again. You see on number two matter. God is making a name for himself. People will identify with your testimony. write it beside it. God has settled it. Whatever is the root of these issues at the sound of your amen, I command let them be terminated by fire. Write it again. God has settled it. Number four, I decree that joy that comes in the morning let it become your evidence. Write it again. God has settled it. Number five. Shekoda Saya. Because the spirit of restoration is here. Let me decree. For you, it shall be restoration with compensation. Write it again. God has settled it. And the sixth one. Surely there's an end. I decree, surely there's an end. Write it again. God has settled it. The last one. I decree it has ended in praise. I decree it has ended in praise. 
I decree it has ended in praise. I decree it has ended in praise. With a loud voice, can you thunder? God has settled it. Write it beside it. Write it beside it. God has settled it. Write it. God has settled it. Did you know today's service was for you? Did you know it was for you? Can you celebrate the Lord? <laughs>